everybody, welcome to Storytime. I'm Nicola and this is Stephen and today we're reading The Penguin Who Wanted to Fly by Catherine Vaz from Scholastic Press. Flip Flop sat on his favourite thinking rock and looked up into the sky. I wish I could fly, he said to himself. Flip Flop stood up. He looked down at his wings and flapped them. Nothing happened. Flip Flop couldn't fly. That night, Flip Flop had a dream. He dreamt he was flying. It was so quiet and so peaceful up there in the starry sky. Next morning, Flip Flop had an idea. He would make himself some wings. Can I help? asked Polar Bear. Flip Flop climbed on top of Polar Bear and flapped his wings. Flip, flap. Flop. Oops, said Flip Flop, but it didn't matter. Flip Flop had another idea. Just the thing, said Flip Flop, as he pulled out his special helicopter hat from his dressing up trunk. He spun around and around and around and around, spinning faster and faster until he spun out of control Ouch! cried Flip Flop as he flopped to the ground. I feel very dizzy. That night it snowed. In the morning Flip Flop was very excited as he had thought of another idea. He would build an aeroplane out of snow. A snow plane. Flip Flop was very pleased with himself as he climbed in. Five, four, three, two, one. He waited for his snow plane to take off and waited and waited. Oh dear, sighed Flip Flop as the sun came out and melted his snow plane. But it didn't matter. Flip Flop had another idea better idea. He got a balloon and tied a piece of string to it. The balloon floated upwards and so did Flip Flop. I'm flying, said Flip Flop excitedly. I am really flying. And so he was until went the balloon. Flop went flip flop. <gasps> Poor flip flop. I'm never going to fly, he cried. Polar Bear gave his friend a hug. Come with me, he said. Polar Bear gave flip flop a gentle push down their favourite slippy slide. Whoosh! Flip Flop whizzed down the ice. Whee! I'm flying, squealed Flip Flop. But then, splash! Help, cried Flip Flop as he crashed into the sea. It was very peaceful and quiet down there under the sea. There were lots of fish and other floaty things. Wow, said Flip Flop. This is just like flying. Flip Flop couldn't really fly, but that didn't matter. 
because Flip Flop could swim. In fact, he could swim quite beautifully. Thank you everyone for watching today and remember to stay tuned to Carlo Library's Facebook page for more information on our next signed story time.